Hey guys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, we're out here on the Murray camping. And I thought I'd do a quick walk around of my 270 degree awning from 230. There's two of them I got here. This is the more recent model and we got an older model over there. And we're just gonna have a look at the comparison between the two and work out which is best. And you know which one's best? Gonna be mine, of course. All right, now, when I bought the awning, it comes with guide ropes. I really didn't like the guide ropes. It's a personal choice. I changed them to a better quality than the ones that I trust. I just use a carabiner up here for the, the connection to the awning itself. Works fine for me. There's also, if you go further on, there's these little tabs around the outside. Now, that is just in case it happens to rain. You can run your guide ropes down there and it forms a little drain so you're not flooding your camp. Only problem is when it does rain, it's like a spider's web of guide ropes, so be careful. Another great little feature about this, it has internal zips. What are the internal zips for? Well, you can actually buy an additional wall kit. I don't have the wall kit as yet, but I may get one one day. So you can actually fully enclose the whole awning. So it just gives you that bit more room and it actually stretches it out. It doesn't go straight down the wall, they stretch out a bit. So just wander around down here. Um, another good thing, all the poles are black. Doesn't really mean much, but they're black. The internal bracing system here, it's aluminium. It's powder coated and it has a really good solid bracket where it attaches to the camper trailer here, which is a good feature as well. Another good feature about this morning is now 230 stepped up their game a bit. They use this special black paint or print or whatever it is, and it stops any UV getting in, and it's fantastic. It's a block out material. They've also used it on their shower cubicle or shower changing room. I don't have one of those, I wish I bought one. And it, it helps with, you don't get the shadowing on that. Around the back here, 230 also supply, no additional charge. A little extra rain flap thing here, and it just gets into the sail track. So you can attach that to there, and also you can attach some kitchen tidy stuff that I've got here as well. So let's go over and have a look at the other one. All right, this is NAS's, this is NASA's from NAS Time Adventures 230 Forney. And he bought his before I bought mine, so there's been some changes, so there's been some upgrades. So 230 have lifted their game, which is a great thing to see. Has the same tabs as mine, basically the same hardware around the exterior. These are the original guide wraps, the ones I didn't like. NAS likes them, that's great. Uh, the underside, it's not powder coated. Mine is, and it doesn't have the blackening out of the, of the roof. And you can actually see light coming through this one. So, but this is their older model. They've learnt from them errors of their ways, I suppose. Brackets are the same, nice, solid. I know this particular awning's seen some serious track work as well, and it's held up well. We had some wind come up the other night, and um, because of the, the qualities of these fittings where you attach your guide ropes, this thing just didn't move. We nailed it down, it was perfect for the night. And we got his little hammock underneath there so he can have his afternoon nap. So that, guys, is the 230 270-degree awning. Great product. They've improved the product, which is a great thing to see. All right, guys, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.